Are you the type of person that hates the sound of your own recorded voice? Then this video is for you. Let me show you how to add narration to your Google Slides without saying a word. Now, for this project, you're going to need four things. Your Google Slides, a script, an empty Google Drive folder, and a text-to-speech service. Now, what is text-to-speech? Text-to-speech is technology that lets you take your script and turn it into a voiceover. And you can add this voiceover to your videos, your presentations, your ebooks, audiobooks. You're really only limited by your own creativity. Now, the trick with text-to-speech services is finding voices that sound natural and authentic. Too many of voices sound too robotic and computerized. Let me show you how to find natural sounding voices, how to turn your script into a voiceover and add that voiceover to your Google Slides. Our first step is to stay organized. So we want to create a folder inside of our Google Drive where we'll put our MP3 voiceover files. In Google Drive, go to New, Folder, name your folder, and click Create. Next, we're going to open up our script so that we can put it in our text-to-speech service. Now, what I've done is in Google Slides, I'm going to click View, Show Speaker Notes, and in the notes for each slide, I've added a sentence that summarizes the slide. You don't want to go word for word when you create your speech. You want to give your audience something interesting to listen to. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the entire sentence from this slide and I'm going to paste it inside of a notepad document here. So after I've done that for each slide, it's going to make up my entire script. I'm going to highlight the script, copy it, and now we're ready to paste this into our text-to-speech service. Which brings me to the sponsor of this video, Cucurella. Cucurella is an online text-to-speech conversion service. I'll put a link in the description so you can sign up for a free trial of Cucurella. We can click the text-to-voice tab on the left side of the page, and in this canvas here in the middle, we're going to paste our text. We can select a voice from this drop down menu here. I've already selected a few favorites, but you want to make sure that you listen to each voice and choose the one that's going to fit your project. For this project, I'm going to use the voice called Wendell. Next, I'm going to add some effects so that the voiceover sounds as natural as possible. If I want to listen to a line of text, I click the play button to the left of that paragraph. Cucurella is an online text-to-speech service, or TTS, that lets you create natural-sounding voiceovers in just a few clicks. Now, if I want to add an effect to a specific word, I'm going to highlight that word, click Effects, and in the Effects menu, I'm going to click on Emphasis. This effect changes how specific words are said. I'm going to click the exclamation point here and change this one to Strong. Now, for two, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to highlight that word, choose Emphasis again, and select Reduced. Now, I can play this back. Cucurella will convert the sentence and then play it back with the effects applied. Cucurella is an online text-to-speech service, or TTS, that lets... That sounds good to me. I'm done adding effects, so now I want to download my voiceover file. I can download any one line by clicking the download button to the right of that paragraph, and then selecting MP3. If I want to download everything in bulk, I click this Convert button at the bottom of the screen, then click the Download icon to the right, and then I can choose if I want to download these files all as one single file or separated by paragraphs. Choose your option and Cucurella will then download a zip folder to your computer. The next step is to get these voiceover files into our Google Drive. If you're using Chrome, you can click this button down here where your download is, click Show in Folder, Then drag your downloaded file into your Google Drive and put it in the folder that we just created. Now it's time to add this to our Google Slides presentation. In Google Slides, we'll click on Insert, Audio, and our voiceover file should either show in the My Drive section or on the Recents tab. Click the file, then the Select button, and click the Play button to make sure it's the right file. Do you want to add voiceover narration to your Google Slides without- Now it's time to set the playback options. If it's not open yet, you can click on the Format Options in the toolbar at the top of the screen. For this particular file, I want it to play automatically, and I want the audio icon to hide when I'm presenting. 
I'll also keep stop on slide change selected. And I'm gonna drag this icon to the upper left hand corner of the screen, just, that's my OCD. Now I'll click my slideshow button, and let's hear how it sounds. Do you want to add voiceover narration to your Google Slides without using your own voice? Now you can, thanks to Cucurella, the number one online text to speech converter. And that's all there is to it. Repeat this process until you've added all of your voiceover files to your Google Slides. If you have questions on setting the right playback options, let me know in the comments below. Now, if you want to turn your Google Slides into a video, check out this video on the screen right now. If you have questions on this video, leave them in the comments below, and if it was helpful, hit that like button. Thanks for the click. I appreciate you being here. My name is Steve, and I'll see you on the next project.